In the last video, we did some really small pieces without really measuring, and so today I want to do some uh, serious work here, and I want to compare what the Dilicious Sliver looks like um, in, oh, let's say 20% of the Saxon Blue compared to uh, wool in 20%. So um, I have 10 grams of wool and I have 20 grams of cotton and I'm going to put the wool in here and the cotton in here and here's my Saxon Blue and um, I have a dropper and so with 10 grams of um, wool I'm going to put in one milliliter of the Saxon Blue and with 20 grams of cotton I'm going to put in two milliliters now this is whoops this is um hot water okay so here's my wool and the water is about 130 degrees and here is my cotton so it's almost too hot to touch but I'm gonna let those soak for a little while and then we'll come back and look at look at how they compare Here are our dye pots after uh, resting overnight. And this is the wool, and you can see that it has almost completely exhausted the dye bath. So I'll go ahead and squeeze this out. You can see there's very, very little dye left in there. And I'm going to put it over here in water. To rinse, I'll move this and put my rinse bucket here and you can see nothing comes out really so I'll squeeze that out again and just put it down here for the moment and there's a little bit more uh, dye left in this one and I'm going to see if I can find the end on this. Here we go. So I'm going to squeeze this out into my rinse bucket. There's the end. I sometimes tie a knot in it so I can find it again. And again, you can see very little comes out in the rinse. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And squeeze this out again. And I'll lay this out 
on a towel to dry. And but comparing the colors here, um, the cotton actually looks a little bit darker, but it probably will dry much lighter than that. Um, but just the same, this is a really dark color. Uh, for cotton with the Saxon blue. So here are our fibers, the superwash wool and the dilicious cotton, both dyed with liquid Saxon blue at 10% on the weight of fiber. And you can see how dark this blue is. Um, the wool does take it much darker, but this is still this is still a very, very good color for cotton, which does not normally accept the Saxon blue dye.